Hey guys, what's up? Let's get started. This is a pretty simple tutorial. Uh, the first thing you want to do, of course, is go to the balloon tool and then select the uh, rounded balloon subtool rather than the ellipse because the ellipse is just round and it has like no personality to it. So on the subtool, you want to make sure that uh, the figure is squared um, and the corners are rounded to 100%. And then tap or click and drag to whatever size that you want. And then uh, to make it a little bit more organic and natural looking, uh, you can actually go to your object tool, select the outline, and then uh, click on one of the vertices on the corners and sort of drag in or out to whatever shape you desire. And uh, that will make it a little bit more imperfect so it doesn't look like it's uh, completely digital and dead. And then once you're done with that, uh, it's on to the balloon tail. Now you go back to your uh, balloon tool and the balloon subtool, uh, you go to balloon tail. And then in the properties tab, you make it normal. And you want to choose spline. All right, uh, put the base of the tail just inside the balloon and about halfway to uh, the finishing point, you want to click it, that will be the middle, and then you kind of curve it towards the mouth and double click to end the tail. You can also go back to the object tool and uh, do the same thing you did with the balloon and adjust the vertices to get just the right shape that you want. You can also go back up to the base of the balloon tail and uh, adjust the size of that as well. All right, and once you have it the way you want, that's it, you're done. Simple as that. All right, I hope that was helpful.